of all the various kinds of trade shows I've been to, I like automation shows the best. In automation shows, you get to see engineers showing off. Well, you don't see the engineers themselves. You see the products of the engineering minds. And they are saying, look at me, look at me, see what I can do. Automation shows are all about motion control and sometimes a bit of machine vision. And stop. Now we ramp up. Now it's going fast. This is all like 100% time, one to one. So we're mashing 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. And mashing 180. Stop. Fast. Mesh, mesh. And you know, you notice. They're meshing so beautifully, you don't see any breaking gears. That's the whole point. They got motion control down. I call this one twanger vision. Focus, if you would, a moment on the red and green lights. Green lights mean smooth motion, smooth stops. Red lights means harsh motion with hard stops. Hard stops make for vibration. Smooth stops make for no vibration. The camera on each side is mounted on a flat spring arm. Here, check the red squares. They come in at any angle, but they all get deposited very nicely arranged. Here you've got your Perspex poker. You got a little plastic pin that plays peekaboo in the Perspex holes. Never makes a mistake. No shattered acrylic here. Amazing stuff. Many pokes per second. Okay, this one is uh, red balls excluded, so every red ball gets shunted. Multi-axis manipulations. Take one pin. Multi-axis manipulations. Take two. Easter Island in styrofoam. Okay, this is the one I call Dizzy Fish. You'll see it in a minute. Right now we got meshing gears, like you saw before, on, this time on vertical axes. But they got a little twist added on, you'll see in a second. 
Uh -huh. Positioning the far one first. Followed by the nearer one. You think they broke a few uh, goblets when they were setting this up? Maybe they practiced on plastic ones. One to one, real time. You can see the uh, meshing gears down there. Dizzy fish, ladies and gentlemen. Here we see a slightly different kind of motion control. In this motion control, a certain kind of magnetism is employed to move potential buyers into position. Once they are in position, other forces are brought into play. It is not as 100% effective as other kinds of motion control, but when it works, the effects are delightful. Even when it doesn't work, it's pretty much delightful. I told these guys I wasn't going to be buying anything. I, I work for a, a company that also has a display at the show. They were making a joke like they weren't going to let me watch. I said, hey, you might make it onto YouTube. You might have some benefit. They said, okay. Okay, this is our booth at Vantech. We had some, uh, some clever little thing up here at the front too. Let me show you close up. Also motion control, just a different demo. zoom in on the reels here in a second. There you go. Another angle on the same display. And last but not least, uh, which one was least? Anyway, last but not least, we got super fast pick and place. This is all real time, I mean 100% time, not been speeded up. You look at the people in the background, they're moving at normal speed. So we got this machine that's picking and placing at high speed. 
got to be behind glass because you don't want to wipe anybody's hand off. So it's got its three orange packets and three yellow packets. Notice how cleverly it never gets them mixed up. High speed and high accuracy. Thanks for watching. That's all for now.